Hi everybody, Buscocky here. Uh, today I'm gonna do a, another uh, Load Pro demonstration on uh, showing how to load a, uh, press, uh, a high pressure cutout switch uh, with the Load Pro leads. Um, reason why I'm showing it is because it was this was a find on a bus that I worked on. It's on a 2003 New Flyer bus with Intelligere 2 uh, air conditioning system. And uh, what the complaint was, the said, you know, no AC, AC fail light. So I hook up uh, the laptop, look at codes, and uh, it gave me codes for high pressure cutout, low pressure cutout. And so first thing I did was make sure the belt's tight, look over the compressor area, um, that was all good. Uh, check the uh, gauges for proper pressure. That was all fine. So then I turned the system on, and the system it turned on, and it and it ran fine. So I started looking at the wiring at the compressor a little bit more thoroughly. And when I was close to this high pressure cutout switch, I was looking at the wires, you know, just looking at them, and not really, you know, like gripping on them or shaking them real hard or anything but I was really close and then all of a sudden the uh, the clutch uh, turned off again so uh, I thought well I'm not absolutely sure that it is a wire here or the switch so I wanted to confirm it so what I did was I uh, turned off the unit I disconnected the high pressure cutout switch and then what I did was I hooked up uh, my positive load pro lead to 24 volt battery because on this system it's 24 volt uh, clutch and hooked it up to the positive on the, the red end then I took my black end and went to uh, one end of the switch right here okay then I went out the other wire here and I went to battery negative. Now if you notice while I've got this connected I'm reading uh, 12.5 97 volts okay so uh, now you know it looks fine but uh, here's the thing right now it's just going the voltage is going through my voltmeter Voltmeter is very high impedance. It doesn't draw a lot of current. Okay, so this is basically just telling me right now that these wires here, they're complete right now, but that doesn't mean that these wires can carry a load. So uh, what I ended up doing was, to check this, I uh, pushed on the red positive load pro lead button to uh, put a load uh, on the wiring on to the switch and the switch inside because this is a high pressure cutout switch this is a normally closed switch so the switch doesn't open until it gets over uh, it's like 425 uh, no not 425 I'm sorry I scratched that it's around 350 psi plus or minus 25 I believe but it's a really high pressure before this switch is supposed to open. It's supposed to stay normally closed. Okay, so what I did was I loaded uh, the switch with my leads, and at first, you know, the battery voltage it dropped maybe like half a volt. But I thought, well, for that wiring stuff, that's a little bit, you know, high. That's, you know, that could cause an issue. So what I did was to see if anything would happen. I ended up wiggling uh, the wires here when I had the load pro lead uh, button pushed and the voltage dropped uh, to absolutely nothing and uh, my theory is that the inside of the switch it was just making just enough contact to complete it uh, to well to make a complete circuit but as soon as uh, the system started up and started putting system voltage through it it couldn't take it when uh, you started wiggling the wire so I'm gonna demonstrate that to you 
and uh, hopefully I got enough hands here to do it. Um, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna. All right, right now I'm going to load it. It's 12.09. And then it dropped to nothing. 0, 0.0 because I wiggled the wire. Let off. And then it comes back. Okay. So it's back to 13.03. And then when I loaded the button, or pushed the button and then wiggled the wiring, it uh, dropped to nothing and so basically what my theory is on what happened here uh, where the wiring goes into the switch there's probably just maybe a couple strands on this part right here just barely making contact and that's what was causing the issue as soon as you started wiggling the wiring the uh, the voltage dropped couldn't carry the load it opened the circuit, the computer sensed the open in the circuit, and then logged the code for the high pressure cutout. Um, this uh, problem that I found, it didn't, take, it didn't take me long to find it to confirm it with these leads. I hooked this up, tested this switch, and like that, within less than five minutes, I knew this switch was bad. I wasn't guessing, I knew it. The switch was bad, so I replaced the high pressure cutout switch, and the bus is running great now, hasn't come back, no problems whatsoever. Um, I gotta tell you, I push these leads quite a bit, but I just, um, I can't, I think they're great, you know, I, I want to push them, I think it's a good product. This thing, really really works it saves you time um, it's easy you know it, all you do is you go up to a voltage feed and or go into power or ground you hit the button voltage don't drop you know you're you know you're good to go so um, it it's very handy um, and like I said with this less than five minutes I had the problem confirmed and uh, uh, and fixed and out the door no problem so um, anyway I just thought I'd share that with you and uh, later on I'll uh, be uh, shooting another video uh, doing just another demo with uh, the load pro lead showing uh, ghost voltage zero voltage loading the circuit and uh, giving a little bit better explanation of how these leads work because I've already had some questions already about you know how these work and how some people have looked in the manual and they're saying well it's saying not to test in the positive side of the circuit that's not true uh, you can test in either circuit no problem it's just when you're testing on the ground side you have to be a little bit careful uh, because if say if you're checking on the ground and you don't know where you're at in the circuit you could energize a coil on a relay which is going to close contacts on 1387 of a relay and it could energize something that you don't want to be energized like a starter motor or a big uh, like a shovel you know something like that and you might get hurt so you can do it on the ground but uh, the main thing you've got to be aware of is you have to know where you are in the circuit and you have to understand what you're doing. Okay, so um, just keep that in mind. So um, anyway, that's it for uh, this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, hopefully I'll be uh, talking to you all soon. Take care. Bye.